Have you been looking for a unique idea for the candy cane Dollar Tree form? Well, I have an idea for you. We're gonna use things I already had on hand and we're gonna make a beautiful wreath. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm really excited about this wreath. I think it's so pretty. Originally, I was gonna use the big candy cane wreath form, but here's the difference. The bigger candy cane that they used to make was 20 inches long from Dollar Tree. Now they're 14, but this is the 14 inch wreath frame, okay? So, and again, what you can do is at the very beginning, you could take some felt and you could trace it and then glue this on at the end. I didn't do that step, but that's an extra step. But I'm gonna show you how to make this. It was a lot of fun to make. And originally I was gonna put this in the video with the other two candy canes. So if I mentioned this is the third, that's why. <laughs> so I kind of felt like this video needed a video to itself because it's so pretty and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So let's get started. This I have a tutorial that shows you how to use the mesh on the wreath frame. Okay. So I will link that down below. It's going to be, I have two videos that have the candy cane wreath form and two different videos on two different methods. Okay. So that one is in the description box. That's down below. That's where all the information is about my videos. So let's do this one. This is just kind of a, an idea that I had. Um, I had been to Hobby Lobby this week and I got a lot of greenery because I thought, oh, I'm going to put this in my tree. But you can use whatever greenery you want. If you want to get Dollar Tree greenery, any, if you've already got stuff in your stash, which um, some of the stuff off to the side that you haven't seen is stuff I've had for a few years. And you know how we collect stuff. Okay, let's, let's be honest. Raise your hand. Um, that would be me. If you are a hoarder of craft supplies, that would be me. I have a small craft store in the bottom of my basement. Okay. That I've, I've been admitted. I have a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to pick whatever greenery that you want as the base and you're going to put it around on this form. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off pieces here and you're going to start cutting here and you're going to kind of layer this in a way that it works. Okay. So I'm a big proponent of cutting these sorts of things up and not just sticking, unless you're like making a thing, a thing upstairs and you're just like needing big sprays. I like to kind of cut things down a little bit. And what I like with this is that we can actually make this a longer form. We can make it longer over here because we're doing this and we can make it longer here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start building. So I've got two pieces there. I'm gonna take a zip tie. All right, I'm gonna put one up here and you're just going to layer it. I don't really feel like you're gonna need that much. I think I have this, got that arm. Okay, so you're gonna start layering it, layering it. Uh, do I sound like I grew up near West Virginia? Because I did. Belpre, Ohio. If you know where Belpre, Ohio or Parkersburg, West Virginia, guys, that's where I grew up. Middle school through high school. And then um, another interesting tip. If you grew up in St. Louis, I spent my years as a preacher's kid because my dad was a preacher um, in Baldwin, Missouri. So another little fun fact. So we're gonna make this a little bit longer. So I'm gonna show you, let's just go under here. Let me just try one of the smaller ones here that I've got. So this is it, okay. And you're just gonna just, you know, add it wherever you want and that's all you're gonna do, okay? And so, so first, the first thing you're gonna do is make a base. All right, let's make a base, have some greenery, whatever you wanna do. And then we're gonna layer it with other things. So. That makes it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some more of these. Now, it's really important that you can bend. So whatever you pick, you want something that you can bend, okay? So I can bend that, all right? Oops, that one fell off. You might wanna glue some of these onto your, you know how they come off sometimes. There we go. But I know that not everybody has the same store. Some have Hobby Lobby, some have Joanne, some have just Walmart, you know, and we go to wherever you have, find the supplies and you'll be all right, okay? 
Um, you can even order stuff like this online. Um, I like to use um, the Reese Shop and Mel's Crafty Mojo and Trendy Tree. And I, I even have a link for Michael's down in the description box below. And Michael's has, generally, they have some pretty good stuff too. I don't, haven't, let's see, I don't, didn't see much Christmas stuff there when I went the last time, but it's been a few weeks. So that doesn't mean that they haven't started. So basically what we're going to do is, so we got greenery going this way, greenery going that way. And right here is where we're going to like put a bow or something. Okay. So we're going to just make a base and make it fit here and here. So you're just going to go and do that. I will be right back and I will have that part done and we'll go to the next. One. Okay. So I have all of my, <laughs> I like placing things. I have like a good base going on. I don't like how these are going up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some wire and because it's really thin and it's green, it should work just fine. And I don't think it'll be noticeable. And I'm gonna just kind of run it through under here. Okay, I'm gonna twist it. Gonna... All right, it doesn't take a whole lot to do that. And twist it some more, make sure it stays. And then probably gonna see, let's go under here as well. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of bring it under and then I'm gonna go over here and it's, it's, I'm just going, I'm just looping it through just to kind of have the same. And then I'm just do that, let's flip it over and yeah, I think that helps. And you can just kind of play around with it. So at this point, let's add some more fillers. Um, these are some things that I use. If you watch the little red farmhouse truck, I had cut a garland. I had three pieces, so let's use them, okay? So basically, you can either um, glue these in now, or you can, because we've built a base, so I think I can just glue that in, or you can even um, wrap this wire around the frame. So I'm gonna do two, I only have three, so I'll do two here and we'll do one up there. But you know what, here, let's, again, let's cut this up and we'll have two in the top there. And it's all about building the base of your um, frame, okay? Just have fun with it, enjoy the process, and just, you know, get a lot of your, like, scraps of things. And this one will bend really easy. I think those came, I need to check Target out. I don't know if they have their Christmas stuff out yet, but I need to check them out. This is where I got this little, like, garland. It was, like, five bucks last year. I hope they have some more of that stuff. All right. So like that. And then I had a little package of these, five of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of glue those in two up there. I am using the Gorilla Glue Stick for this. So it, oh, wow, those have a nice wire, but I don't really, I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to just kind of stick them up in there because they'll stay. Again, if you're, you live in a place like, you know, Phoenix or the desert, you know, you might need to just do all that separate. All right, we're going to put one down here. And that's going to really lengthen that frame for us. Two over here. Okay, so I just went shopping in my storage room. <laughs> If I had, I only have one of these, but I would love it if I had more of these. So if you've got some of those, I think that pine cones with a little bit of snow on would be so pretty. But what I did find, and again, I don't know what this came from. Don't have, I don't have any clue. I'm the type of person that buys stuff. So I'm going to cut some of these off and we're going to put it up through there. So let me find my cutters here. Again, these are on Amazon. So I'm going to cut a few. And I'm just going to place them, you know, here and there. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for the metal there. Okay, so I think, honestly, guys, that's really beautiful. And you can use the bigger wreath form if you have one in your stash. But this is the smaller. I'm going to pull it over. So there's where it ends. So you can see how much further we went. And my vision for this is even better than I thought. Um, at first I'm like, okay, I'm not sure how that's going. So, but I have this really pretty ribbon. Now 
If you watched last week's video, I showed you how to do a garland and a matching Christmas wreath. Now, I'm gonna use it on this because I just think it's so pretty. This came from Mel's Crafty Mojo. Remember when you purchase from Mel's Crafty Mojo and you spend over $35, if you use my coupon code, Julie's Wreath Boutique, you get an extra 10% off. So make sure you use that coupon code. All right, so we're gonna add this in the middle of our bow and then we're gonna be done. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna do like three, three, um, oh goodness, I can't talk, three loops on each side. All right, so you're gonna take, let's take about 12 inches here and we're gonna come back to the middle, but we're, we need some extra there. So we're just gonna kinda have some extra there. That's all right. So we're gonna take another, but this time we're gonna do 10 inches. Come to the middle, okay? So let's do, we're gonna kinda do what we did in our last video. Here we go, there we go. We kind of tuck that little thing underneath there, all right? You're gonna twist it because we need the right color showing. So if you check her out and she's out of stock of this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I really wanted to use this on this project because I just thought it was so pretty. And I'm going to come back. All right. Now we're going to do um, two more loops, but we're going to do um, we're going to do them just a little bit bigger. We're going to measure them at, let's see, let's do 12 inches now. Okay, let's see if that works. Yep, I think that works. And another 12 inch. So that the outside, that middle bow right here is going to be a little bit, um, it's going to stick out just a little bit more. Okay, that's what I want. Just take a zip tie. Well, let's see, make sure I have the right way. And go around. If you're going to use a bow maker, use Probo the Hand. I love that one. I have links for it in my Amazon storefront. All right, do that. But before I do that all the way, I am going to grab a wire and I'm gonna put the wire through there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go like so. Is that really good? Cut this. All right. So we've got what we want here. So let's put it on the frame, play with it. Cause we're gonna put a big old flower right in the middle there. You're just gonna wrap it around the frame and you can kind of go any direction you want with it. And then I just like to put the wire back into frame. And now we're gonna like, And then I only have one of these and I thought, I just am gonna put that in the middle. So what so I, underneath, where did I put it through? Okay, I see it. Go underneath the bow and then come over top of it. Okay. So I see that. And then I'm just going to take Let's just take a zip tie and we will just zip tie that to the frame. Okay, so that is the finished product for this wreath. I really love how it came together. It was very easy to do. Use all your different um, um, stash. You know, you don't have to go out and buy new stuff if you've got some stuff already and make it look beautiful. And you're just gonna play around with that ribbon. Use your own bow if you like a different bow. I just thought, let's kind of make this flower the center of the bow. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. So I love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was a fun one to make. I don't, I mean, I might keep this one, honestly. There's always a couple of wreaths and projects that I make during the Christmas season that I keep for myself or I give to a loved one. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you made it this far in the video, either leave me a tree or a candy cane in the the description or in the comments, not the description box. All my links will be in the description box. Every All my TikTok links and, and Facebook. If you're on Instagram, please come and find me and follow. And I hope you enjoy this project. This is one of my favorites. I can't wait to hang it up this year. So until next time, we'll see you in Julie's Reese Boutique. Bye-bye.